Hello fellow followers and welcome to Fan Scene and today I have you my review of the new horror comedy that just came out on Shudder, Vicious Fun. I have been waiting for this movie to come out on Shudder and it did not disappoint me. I, I enjoyed this movie. It was so great. It was so fun. It's a horror comedy, as I mentioned, and it's set in eight, 1983. So the, you know that's me, 80s man right here. Uh, so uh, when I hear about stuff like this, when they make new movies, especially horror movies and with a comedy edge set in the 80s, I have to check it out. And it, I enjoy it. It's basically centers on this uh, man, Joel, who is a horror movie critic for a magazine called Fishish Fanatic, much like Fangoria. And he's like this know-it-all, smarmy critic who thinks he knows better than these slasher uh, movies that we all seem to enjoy. Like, why is the killer running so slow and all this? So he's kind of annoying in the beginning. I will be honest. I thought I found him kind of annoying. But then, you know, he stumbles on to uh, a s serial killer support group because he's following this uh, guy, Bob, who's dating uh, his roommate because he's in love with his roommate and so he's trying to figure out who this guy is because he thinks he's married and then he stumbles onto the serial killer <laughs> group and it's just it's amazing because you get all these facets of different type of serial killers from like 80s movies and it just works so well need a ride as far as i can Pop yeah. This is what you said to me. A group of serial killers attending a 12-step meeting tried to kill me and my accomplice before disappearing, leaving us with three dead bodies? No, two dead bodies. It's one word, right? Bullshit. Um, sorry to interrupt your meeting. Thanks so much for coming out. How do you maintain your lifestyle and keep your urges under control? I murdered the same victim repeatedly. Just give me a mask. Have you ever bitten into a kidney? What is this, some kind of support group for serial killers? Why are you here? It's complicated. Of course, Joel is out of his element. He's this geeky, nerdy, horror type guy, which I could sort of relate to. <laughs> and, you know, you get to meet all these characters. They're all funny. They're all inter interesting. You know, the comedy goes dark in this, but it's also actually pretty dang funny. And the kills are amazing in this. Uh, it's got some pretty good gore, practical effects, uh, <laughs> badass chicks. You know, Joel gets hooked up with the uh, uh, the girl, Carrie, who you think is a serial killer, but turns out she's, she's not. And she wants to take out all these serial killers. And she's like, you know, the final girl of the film. I know some people don't like the term final girl but that's what she's kind of like so is joel <laughs> and i know some people don't like that but that, that, it didn't bother me in this movie it was really good and you know they kind of form this tag team to take out all these serial killers and it's just hilarity as soon as when they get to the police so <laughs> the police officers in this when they get them and take them and they're trying to interrogate them it's just hilarious and just the way everything breaks down and i would say that you know it's just it's just <laughs> i just loved it group sessions on lockdown are you uh, Skinner, a slicer, dicer, or a corpse humper? How did you get in here? I got, I got drunk at the bar. I passed out in a closet for a few hours, okay? 911. Yes. Oh my god, it's horrible. Now, Bonnie told me that people are coming here to try and kill him. And maybe us. What? Us? Why? <laughs> Tony! I think Bob, the serial killer, Bob steals this. He, you know, he's a smarmy, blonde-haired, uh, 80s preppy serial killer who just steals this movie. He steals this movie. He's great as it. And, you know, um, Carrie and Joel together just work so well. And just, you know, the kills, it's, it's just, like I mentioned, the kills are amazing. And it does a little bit of world building in this movie. Uh, I would say akin to, like, uh, John Wick. But I'm not saying this is in the league of John Wick, but I'm just saying it sets up this sort of, like, John Wick-type world that I really want to know more about because Carrie works for the secret organization. Uh, that's why she's taking all, her, all these serial killers. And she mentions a serial killer named Mr. Midnight, who she named because she's got a book, uh, you know, a little black book with all the names of other serial killers that she's taken out. And Mr. Midnight, it's mentioned that took somebody from her when she, when she was young. And um, it ne we never find out who that is. We don't know if he's still alive. And then, you all, you know, you want to know about the secret organization. Who is these people who, who that she's working for to take out these? And it, it really sets up a great uh, world, uh, you know, along with the absurdity of the comedy and the 80s tropes and a nice blend of the genre of horror and comedy. And it just works so well. And it's just, it's just very fun, entertaining, uh, genre-bending slasher 80s 
flick made now, which is very rare. And uh, I would definitely like to see a sequel to this. Much like most 80s horror slasher serial killer flicks, you got to have a sequel and you got to build on that world because I really want to know who Mr. Midnight is. I really want to know who this organization is that she works for. I mean, they could be just, you know, hinting at it, setting up just for this movie. It is, and that's fine. That, you know, leave, leave some questions and have your mind play with it. But I really would like to see it. So, you know, Shudder and the people that made this, if this is a hit out there, I really, I really, come on, make me a sequel. Let me know it because I want to see it because I really, really thoroughly enjoyed this movie. And I, I would say if you got Shudder and you have a chance to see this, watch this movie. It is worth a watch. It's funny. It's good. It's entertaining. Practical effects. Badass chicks. Uh, you know, <laughs> nerdy uh, horror critic guy. Quarter! It got really messy. I like it messy sometimes. <laughs> Smack in the face. I'm like a coiled snake. Gentlemen, we are about to have a lot of fun tonight. Hey, I didn't even gag. know what you thought about this review down in the comment section down below and if you've seen vicious fun what you thought about the movie because i would i like to know you guys thoughts on it uh i enjoyed it like i said i enjoyed it if you like this video please give it a like if you did not like this video you can go ahead and give it a dislike that's up to you guys no hurt feelings here share this video out for everybody to see wherever you guys are please have a great safe happy healthy day morning afternoon evening and night i thank you for watching and godspeed